Just a little follow-up from Friday. I gave a quick update. Uh, it was post two weeks out. So now we're almost three weeks. I was hoping to do something over the weekend, but uh, weather wasn't cooperating. I really wanted to be outside rather than uh, in my studio. Um, any event, so we are now, tomorrow will be three weeks, uh, stem cells, and it's been amazing. Uh, this time around, it's, it's, it's almost magical. So I went down there, as many folks know, with, uh, you know my lower back this time uh, originally I had gone down from my neck which had greatly improved and 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 so then of course then my lower back goes out and not just out but it was really bad with uh, comp two levels compressed and uh, to the point where my foot had gone uh, completely numb and I couldn't use it at all and uh, coming out of stem cells uh, initial relief was amazing but then after a day or so some of that numbness came back from uh, the lift of the disc uh, going back um, but man, within days, that started leaving as well uh, to the point where I wanted to give updates, but I didn't want to jinx it. I'm like, is this for real? Uh, so I could tell you three weeks now, zero pain. Like I, for a while, I was waking in the morning with a little bit actually on the left side um, that I know what it was coming from, uh, L, uh, L4, L5. Uh, but now uh, it's there's just no pain. Uh, the numbness every day is leaving more and more. I have more control over walking and on the foot. Uh, I think to the average person seeing me walk, you probably wouldn't even notice uh, unless you really were looking for it. So I couldn't be happier. Uh, three weeks, it's, it's, it's crazy. Um, so hopefully it continues on uh, and, uh, and the healing internally uh, keeps going within the disc and uh, looking forward to having a checkup done on it. Done on it. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to give that uh, another update on that and I will continuously uh, do that as much as, uh, you know, much as I can. Uh, again, <laughs> it's, it's, it's really good. I, I was honestly really afraid to jinx it. <laughs> Um, that moves on to, yeah, so I'd left in this short clip, I said, uh, I wanted to reflect on something else that's, I think is so important that doesn't get discussed a lot, uh, about CPI. Um, I mean, obviously, uh, everyone talks about the stem cells and, uh, all the amazing work that they do there. Uh, you know, everything from the staff to the, the, the care and whatnot, but there's one thing and this thing is really, uh, uh, to me, it was super important, and I know it is from others I'm talking uh, to them. Camaraderie. There's something about going into a group of people where you, you know, you come from such an eclectic background. I've talked about this before from professional uh, sports athletes um, to folks working in business to people who are artists. Like, it, it's a wide, wide gamut, but everyone shares you know, a root of a reason going in there, whether, you know, whether they have something wrong with their neck or a joint or whether from uh, some sports accident or uh, could be a vehicle or whatever the case may be. But we're in there for a similar or common denominator around this. Uh, and as you get chatting with folks uh, and being in that environment for a week, you build incredible friendships with sometimes the most unlikely people. And, and we had an experience of that uh, down there in my last trip. I made really good friends with someone. I don't know if I, he's okay if we give him a shout out here, but uh, Kevin, I'll just say Kevin. And, um, and and it's a great experience because, you know, when, when, when I met him, he was like, when he found out I was from Canada uh, and he was a little concerned about me, uh, you know. Anyways, I'll just leave it there. And But we met and we were like, brothers from another mother and and it's just fantastic and it's not my first time for something similar to happen and then and then the other friendships around that uh that continued on i mean i'm in a chat group with them then uh it's really supportive not just you know again of course for stem cells and we can ask each other questions you know i've been through it before other folks have as well uh so we could give advice and whatnot uh but aside from that, again, is just the actual friendship and camaraderie. It's it's really, really special. Uh, when you come back from being there, it, you miss it. You really do. And and that's why I'm glad, like, we'll, you know, continue chatting and whatnot. And, uh, you know, some of us are looking at even just doing, like, a get-together reunion. So uh, I think it's something that's not talked about a lot. And uh, it actually does help with your healing. It, it really does. Um, and, 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 you know, you know yourself if you're in the right frame of, frame of mind, uh, you're feeling optimistic about something, you have people around you supporting you in this that are going through a similar journey. It's 
very uniquely powerful. So uh, it's just a, something I, want, I really wanted to chat about and just wanted to bring up, uh, you know, aside from all the uh, medical modalities that they do. It's a, a really extra cool bonus. So yeah, there's that. Uh, also, um, I was going to do this update, like I said, over the weekend. Now I'm kind of glad I didn't because I saw last night uh, one of my... Uh, so I knew this had happened, uh, but I didn't say anything. So one of the, my favorite shows that I watch in the evening for news updates and that is uh, uh, Tim Cass and IRL in real life, So uh, which is hosted by Tim Poole. So I know Tim and his good friend Luke uh, Rodowski uh, from wearechange.org. Both of those guys had gone down to CPI last week uh, for their own issues. Uh, and Tim, on his first day back last night on the show, and he was talking, he went down for his hip, a long uh, skateboarder for, since he was a kid, uh, having a lot of difficulties now with, with his hip as he's getting older. And he was, ra same thing I rave about, <laughs> he was ra raving about uh, everything from the care uh, that you receive at CPI, the staff, you know, uh, the beautiful view that you're enjoying all day, looking out over the ocean with dolphins breaking water. Uh, it's, you know, going for walks when you can on the boardwalk or on the beach in front of you. It's, it's remarkable. And then Tijuana itself, that's gotten such bad rap over the years, but it's actually a really beautiful, beautiful town uh, with amazing restaurants, uh, lovely people, uh, just a beautiful environment. And uh, it doesn't get the respect that it deserves down there, frankly. Um, It'll get bad press. So I was really happy to hear uh, last night Tim Pool. I mean, he kicked off the show with over forty thousand viewers, uh, and he's going on about you know his experience down there. So it was great, and and I hope it does influence others um, to escape surgeries and stuff to go for this other uh, treatments like stem cells. So that was awesome to see Tim do that. So uh, big thanks, I guess, to Tim. Like you'll ever see this, um, but yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to continue uh, continue on here. Um, haven't done this third week now. Uh, I'm allowed to start some basic movement and stuff like that, but you know, I was really uh, worried about a shrinkage. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it, I, I've hung on pretty good. And I, I'm not really concerned about that. I know once I start working out again, it comes back very, very quickly. And this time, I'm coming back much more slowly and much more methodically. Uh, I have a real plan ar uh, around it, and uh, it's just going to start with, you know, like before, but a little slower with body weight exercises, moving into more resistance things around bands and stuff, moving then into more uh, mobility functional stuff on uh, focusing on stabilizing muscles and things of that nature. Uh, so really want to focus on the function, so kettlebells, maces, uh, uh, bands, um, you know, things like that. Uh, oh, tidal tank and stuff like that. And uh, hopefully I'll be filming some of that as well. Uh, maybe I can influence a few other old timers out there uh, to do some of this stuff. And, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna take it very, very slowly coming back. I think the thing that I miss the most is a toss up really between, well, I love the gym, as everyone knows. I mean, they're usually six days a week and I haven't been. Uh, and now uh, I know martial arts. So missing both big time big time um, but I'm trying to fill it up with other stuff works but great because of that <laughs> um, anyway that's it that's my update I won't try uh, to keep this too long as always if anybody has any questions feel free to reach out to me I'm putting a link uh, down here in the comments um, or in the uh, description uh, for CPI and if you have any people uh, often reach out to me and ask me questions and guys I can give you as much as I can from my experience but at the end of the day I'm not a doctor so I can't tell you how many stem cells you're gonna need and things of those nature uh, so so I, I really encourage you to reach out uh, yourself uh, to CPI if you have those questions. They're really awesome. They'll get back to you uh, and set something up and you know uh, put you in touch with a doctor to, to have any questions answered to see if you're a candidate. So I really do encourage that. And the same thing that goes with cost. It's so different for everyone depending on the amount of work you're getting done. In it. And I just, I can't answer those questions. Not because I, uh, I don't want to, it's just I literally can't. I, I don't know what it would be uh, for each unique individual. So uh, yeah, reach out to them and they, they will help you in that way. But if you want anything else in terms of experience or what, to, what you will be looking forward to there and things of that nature, uh, feel free to hit me up anytime. So until next time, uh, let's keep the healing going.